Okay, so this is the uh, basically the prototype of the hanging version of my hydroponics tower. Um, I have this one hooked to my pond, so that's why you're going to hear a bunch of water sound. Uh, the goal of this project was that uh, you could 3D print your own tower if you need to, especially bigger than what most people do. These are uh, 210 millimeters in diameter. So, um, and these are all prototypes. They're going to be refined, but I just wanted to show that it's all working. Um, water's definitely pouring down all the collets, as you can see. Uh, the biggest thing with this version, um, the bottom needs to be sealed up. Um, you can see the 4-inch right here for your 4-inch net pots. The rest of these are 2s. Uh, the top will probably look like this from the outside, but I'm probably going to redo the inside a little bit. Again, um, there's two versions of this. One fills from the outside like this, um, and the other one will have the same hole. You'll have to tap any holes in this. Um, I'll tap American, um, but if you need a metric version, you're going to need to tap yourself. I don't even know if I can get a metric pipe out here in America. Um, but yeah, you can run the pipe on the inside too uh, for the other version of this tower. The other version, you should see, I mean for you guys here in a minute, but it'll be several days for me. It'll be sitting on a pot. Um, so that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, it's all bolted together. It uses M8 bolts. And then for the hanging version, you just use your... These are M8 eye hooks. Um, not very long thread at all on those. Uh, I just put one here, one at the bottom, and the same thing on this side. And then you can level this way. And uh, you get pretty good flow of water and stuff. I have the water flow turned down right now just because I didn't seal the bottom up, so it's just dripping a little bit at the bottom. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Okay, so this is the uh, basically a planting pot setup for the uh, hydroponics towers. Um, the way I've done this, this is just half inch PVC pipe um, with a four sl splitter in the middle. Um, it's bolted in so it doesn't move. Um, I did make sure this was all level um, when I was installing it. And then this is the tower connector. It's got places to grab onto a the pipe. Now I can do these with, uh, let's actually get this to set down on there, there we go, um, on three quarter inch PVC or something if you want. Um, that's just changing the diameter of this, that's not really a problem, I can do that. Um, you can see this is the four inch net pot bottom. And then this piece here is just designed to uh, basically be the bottom and then it grabs the PVC. Um, you could do longer bolts, but I just did two eye hooks and the goal there is, is I'm going to just, I have high winds here and this is going outside. So what's going to happen, I'm just going to tie those two eye hooks down onto the PVC just to help make sure that the, the tower doesn't get ripped up off the PVC. So the goal with this is, um, if you're running hydroponics, you would just set this up, throw your pump in the bottom and pipe it up through the top and have your water inlet and then it just dumps down in the bottom and you can just add your stuff. I'm running this with a pond and my aquaponic setups and stuff. So what I've done, I have an inlet and an outlet. This is going to be filled with bio balls and then I'm going to have my media mat on top of that. So basically I'm going to be growing stuff while filtering the pond. So that was kind of the goal here is, you know, if I can have three things in one, that's what I wanted to do. So, okay, so uh, here's the tower fully assembled. Uh, the top piece is the uh, inside inlet. So I've got a hose running all the way through the uh, system right now to fill it and spray water down the sides. Um, this is the seven slot uh, two inch net pot module. The rest of these are fives. Um, this is a prototype that was, uh, was no good. Um, that bottom one's got three four inch net pods, so that's the, uh, the one you'll see in the store listing or in the files if you've downloaded them. Those plates I just custom made for my application. Um, what's going on is I have a, uh, just a, a flower pot down there, um, and because I'm using this to filter my pond out, 
Um, I've got an inlet and an outlet, and then it's full of lava rock and some filter media inside just to help filter the water. Um, I don't really recommend doing that if you're new to hydroponics because you have to control your pH level, and that's a lot harder to do in a pond system than it is in a uh, closed system. Um, so, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, for the large one, um, I've got the smaller one pretty much ready to assemble, and I'll share that video later. Thank you. Uh, and the other thing is, is this is all spray painted. Um, I recommend you do that too, just so it's not off white, but um, and it helps protect against UV light a little better. So just some plastic safe spray paint. If not, it shouldn't matter. Um, I print these with a, a UV resistant plastic that can take the temperatures in the sunlight. Um, but where I live is a high desert, so the sun's really intense and I don't care how much something says it's UV resistant, it's gonna break down up here. Um, but these have been in there now for three or four days, so you can see all the lava rock is wet. And uh, the strawberries and stuff are starting to turn up. Um, that does take a couple of days, so the flowers are doing pretty good, so that's just a good thing to see there. Um, I do have a cucumber in the back on this right there. Um, it can run that way. But yeah, so I mean, if, I'm not, this isn't a basic hydroponics video, so if you want to look up what you could grow in this or aquaponics, that's what I'm running with fish. You can look it up and see for yourself. Um, but basically these are two inch net pots, four inch net pots, so you should be able to grow just about anything you want in there. Thanks for watching.